so hi everyone uh, as in the previous video i've already discussed about what is prompt engineering the basis of prompt engineering and some basic rules that you need should keep in your head while designing a prompt taking a step ahead now we'll be discussing about some advanced hacks to improve your prompt and to improve the results given by lms by a huge margin so let's get started so the first one would be uh, pre-warming so what is pre-warming so basically whenever you ask a lm to do a task eventually you should try to give it all the possible rules and regulation it should follow all the details you can give it but most of the time you won't be having it right so in that case what should you do ask the lm to generate a set of rules and regulation it should keep in head while doing a task and then once the lm outputs the suggestions ask it to follow it for your task for example what are the factors i should consider while coding a python function ai will give you an answer following the above suggestions code out a python function for xyz task so in this way, all the details that are required for the task are with LLM now and it has a more detailed prompt as compared to the previous one. Second one is role playing. This is actually interesting and you can change the tone of the answers also. So that is why I loved it the most. So in role playing, instead of asking AI to do a task straight away, ask it to act as a particular celebrity or a professional that is more relevant to that field and then ask him to do it a task. So instead of Review SRK's Pathan that released in 2023 or explain the concept of attention level. You can try something like assuming yourself to be Rajiv Masan. So Rajiv Masan is a big Indian uh, cinema critique. Review SRK's Pathan that released in 2023. Explain the concept of attention in ML as Jan Likan would explain. Jan Likan is like head AI at Meta as of now. So in this case, role playing will help you improve your answer by huge margin. And eventually you can see that also while image generation this becomes very very important when you want to have different styles in the image so you can mention this particular assume yourself to be this artist generate this image in this way it will help you a lot the third one is let the model think this is something very important that we should be thinking bombarding the element with mm, any question might not yield the best answer you need to ask the lm to take its time think and then give you an answer so Instead of asking how to prepare an omelette, you can try it out. Think step by step and suggest how to prepare an omelette. Now, a demerit with this is that uh, when you are asking to think step by step, eventually it will be giving you the whole output, how it is thinking that you might want to scrap. So, in the you can extend this prompt to say that have an inner monologue and don't print the steps, just give me the answer and all that stuff. So, uh, giving the model time to think will, um, will also improve your answer by a good margin. And eventually you can see the difference between your ordinary prompt and the one where you are asking it to think. Explain in layman terms. So this is the one I think I have been using for quite some time now. Whenever you want to explain something very, uh, want an easy explanation of some difficult concept, you can ask the LLM to explain it in layman's term. So instead of what is multi-head attention, you can ask what is multi-head attention, explain in layman's term. More context. Don't let LLM make any assumptions. This is something that I have stressed on in my previous video also. This time also I am saying you the same thing. So do add, ask for more context if required for any of the tasks that you are providing. So should I learn Python or R for data science? You can say, should I learn Python or R for data science? Do ask for more context if required. Just try this prompt in chat GPT and eventually we'll see that how the whole answer will change. Because uh, in the first one, it will give you a, a general answer. But in the second, it will first ask you for a qualification. What are you currently doing? What is your aim? And then eventually give you an answer. So here you can see that the quality of the response will definitely improve. Uh, the next one is least to most. When you are planning to have a very complicated task being done by an AGI or LLM, this is more towards the auto GPT that I have been using. So like coding a whole website. So when such a complicated part uh, task comes in, the LLM might get confused, might start hallucinating. In that case, you can start with step by step, starting with the basic stuff first and then bringing on the complications one by one rather than giving it all at once. So help me prepare a project uh, structure, a project structure for Django and Node.js based e-com website. The AI gives you a response. Add a logic for a carousal based web page named main. Add unit test cases to this project. So in this way, you're breaking down the whole task, making it easier for the LLM meta prompting so it is basically a prompt for generating prompts as easy as that i can say how it will be helpful 
so it will help you to tune uh, tune your prompt where you want to test out uh, some specific prompt that you would be repeating again and again or if you are going to deploy in production generate different types of outputs for a similar prompt so like for example here you can see that generate a prompt template for writing blogs in different styles and tones right so in this way it will generate you a list of prompts that you can try out with your uh, with your llms generate different verses of this prompt suitable for llms write an ai blog on how chat gpt is way so right it will rephrase this whole uh, prompt into multiple different rephrased versions and you can use it criticize the previous response is very very important and it has a technical backing to it so if you know how llms and chat gpt work eventually they predict the next token given the previous token so before the whole answer is uh, visible to the user even the llm doesn't know what would be the final answer it would, it is going to give because the prediction is done at token level so in that case as the answer that you get might not be as ideal so in the next prompt you can ask it to improve it or you can question is whether the answer is correct so in that case what happens is once you ask it to correct it like in this case can you improve the above response now it has the whole context because the answer is already outputted in the previous dialogue only so in that case it has the power to analyze it and eventually your answer in most of the cases will improve the final but not the least parsing text type so most of the companies or even individuals like even i we all follow a certain style of writing certain style of content generation in that case uh, once you are trying to insert your ai generated text it might look a bit off so in that case what you can do uh, uh, what you can do is you can ask llm to follow a particular text style from a given text and write a next piece of content for example as you can see here follow the text style tone complexity length structure you can add or remove anything from the given post your text or you can provide a url also and then write a blog on ai so it will copy the tone that is being used formal informal or the complexity being used the length being used and eventually will write the blog for you on ai in the same manner so these are a few hacks that i have recently came across tried out and got really good results so you can also try out let me know uh, what you think about it